Hello and welcome to today's episode of TSARP. I'm your host, Andrew Weir, and today we're going to be talking about some new crazy technology. Can you believe that? Stuff you would think would be like only in spy movies or cool stuff like that. But before we get to that, we got to give you the answer to yesterday's question. So yesterday we started a little thing where we ask a question, normally about technology or coding or something like that. And then the next day we answer it. Uh, so after we answer yesterday's, we'll give you one for tomorrow. So, so, you know, the question yesterday was, what year was the first commercial computer released? Um, so basically that means, like, when was the first computer that you could buy, like anyone could buy, released? So the choices were A, 1955, B, 1951, C, 1952, and D, 1949. So you could have easily looked this up, but the correct answer was 1951. And can you believe no one got that? Pretty wow. sad. Pretty sad. <laughs> Uh, pretty early. I thought it would be like 1980s, almost. Like, yeah. I didn't see mm -hmm. the choices, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, you got to think back to like when the first, like, yeah, like the machines. first DOS computer. That's just I, I, they were like, they were like ten, fifteen thousand dollars nowadays. You know, they were like cre like twenty thousand dollars. Like they so, were very. PCs expensive. are that much. <laughs> they were mo they yeah. I mean, they were for like businesses, you know, and they were so slow. But like it was like new for the time, you know. Um, you could buy it for yourself, but most of them were for big businesses that bought it. So yeah, that's yesterday's question. Um, so you're ready? You're ready to hear? I'm ready for the question. next question. You ready? <laughs> Are you ready, guys? <laughs> what is this, SpongeBob? Are you ready? Okay. You're ready. <laughs> this is this is kind of a stupid one. So, what? So we have gigabyte, we have terabyte, we have megabyte. What size? How big is a petabyte? Okay, no one said because I bet I Stephen might. I know, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm like, I think Steven knows. I this. think I know this too. So it's another, it's another simple one. Um, but you know, we gotta start off, we gotta start off easy, you know, so you guys get warmed up, and then in the next few episodes, we get better. So that's the question. I'll leave a poll down below, probably multiple choice, two, three, four uh, answers. Maybe I'll do two this time, make it even easier. And again, you can look this up, but it's more fun if you don't, because then you know if you're smart. Okay, so on to our main topic for today. Recently, there was an event called CES. It stands for, I believe, Consumer Electronics Seminar? Let's see, am I correct? Um, yeah, so, so there they show off a bunch of really cool, not released yet, um, technology and we're going to show you three cool ones one technically wasn't released it was kind of a gag that they had like there but wasn't like a new technology and it isn't coming out soon actually ever um but yeah so yeah ces stands for consumer electronics show not seminar so the first cool tech item was this new ring ring the company security drone so basically you set it up you show it around your house you basically just hold it up walk around your house and like it will look at, at it and record the pattern of your house the layout and then it, and then whenever you leave you will tell it okay i left turn your security system on and it will start flying around your house and look for anyone that isn't supposed to be there and literally like call the police and fly into that person until it, it does it recognize the... pets does it actually recognize pets I, I believe it does i mean it uses a machine learning ai type thing oh. that's pretty cool and it captures yeah. okay yeah yeah so let's um, say, but let's say it's a delivery guy oh yeah <laughs> it's not that? outside the house it's inside the house oh, oh. inside that yeah, well, what I do not understand what if it, that. What, what if it runs into my fan? 
Yeah, exactly. It it knows to fly low enough for those things, and it knows your really? house, you know. So it knows, that's, that's and you really can cool. you can label on the map, I believe, too. Like this is a fan, and you can label what room is what. So you can say can this is the living room. It looks no, like. that's epic. Yeah. So, and I believe it has a security camera on it too, so it will record anything it sees, any motion or something. Yeah, it's really cool. I, like I mean, security cameras. So basically what happens at CES is it's very beta, I guess you could say, technology. And a lot of these things will be released in the next, like, five to eight years. So expect to see it sooner or rather, but not, like, in the next year or two. Um, so yeah. the next one, this was the kind of gag, you know, but it was a cool idea. I mean, it was funny. Oh, yeah. why, would really you ever, why would you ever actually use it? But it's, it's a cool idea. So... It was a typewriter, and I think it had a little screen on it too. But you type in, okay, um, may uh, write a poem or anything that you could type into Chat GPT, and it would print it out on the typewriter. And I believe it would actually function as a typewriter and write it out itself. And you would type your request in, and on the typewriter, print out your request. It was a really cool, like, like gimmick i guess you could say like why would you ever want that in real life um uh, but yeah it was a cool idea it'd be funny to have that you know it would be yeah. like um oh like it would be even cool because you don't need internet well no i guess you do need internet yeah. yeah but like you could be in your kitchen like oh i need a recipe and just type it out boom prints it out and you have a recipe oh, or oh actually that's true yeah you don't yeah, have to put so anything out it technically could be used in a better way than ChatGPT could. Are they going to come out with it? No. Um, could you make it yourself? Most likely. It might be hard. Yeah. Yeah, um, it was a, so, you know. Yeah, it was a cool idea. Mark so the final one. <laughs> have you ever been like, I hate the color of my car? No. If you're over 16. Um, I hope you don't own a car. If I hate the color of my car. Well, then, now, with this special car, I don't know what they named it, you can change it. So, basically, it uses this, I, I forget what they called it. Um, there's a name for it. But, it, basically, you can change the whole color, not just color, but design of the color of your paint. So, you can say, oh, I want stripes today, and set a color, and boom, your car, your car is that color with that stripe it's a really cool i believe you can put images on it i mean they came out what? yeah so this original idea was originally released last year at ces but it could only do two colors it could only go from white to black i think um but now you can do all different colors all different patterns again i wouldn't expect this very soon i say eight ten maybe even like 12 years and you'll be seeing it. And what I love about CES is you think all this stuff is fake, but like you can go there. As but if you're over eighteen, I think you have to own a business or be going for a company. But like you can go and see this stuff in real life. It's not really that closed off. Um, if you're like a tech company over eighteen, you can go and just explore. Um, it's really cool. They have all different big businesses: Apple, Tesla. Um, a bunch of those, like Ring, I said, they're all there. Um, and then there's oh. lesser-known companies, too. That's really cool. Yeah, so figured I would share those cool, interesting things with you guys. Um, also, a reminder to everyone, Coding Club happened today. <laughs> um, no, I didn't. So we'll, we'll give you a little recap, I guess, tomorrow. But uh, yeah, because we couldn't fit it into this episode. So, thank you all for listening, and we will see yeah. you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye.